Sam was always uh, environmentally conscious and loved dogs. He set up the foundation, which I visited. It's a wonderful place. I almost wish I was a dog so I could live there. And he got involved in all the, the great animal rights acts, and before you knew it, he like owned bears and was closing down circuses and had a van that was traveling Los Angeles, Spain, animals. He loved huge dogs. I have two daughters, and I'd bring these little girls, and he had like six-foot dogs. And I think that the, the last dog he had is like one of the most deadly animals alive or something. And so there was a funny story about how he brought the head of PETA to stay with him, and she was in the same room with the dog, and Samson, I'll be right back. And she thought, if I get killed by this animal, <laughs> it's gonna look really bad. But of course, he's very sweet, well-trained. He does these wonderful things for veterans and for the homeless too. When he found out about how sick he was, he used it to make those last two years what he called the best years of his life, using his money for things that were wonderful. He was so good at it. He was so smart and he was so creative. You know, like he did animal rights better than anybody had ever done animal rights. He would always have something incredibly interesting he was doing. Mm -hmm. And you would tell him about whatever sitcom you were writing for and feel really stupid. He never stopped, you know, being amazed by the guy no matter how long you knew him. For someone who's you know, so sadly not with us, I hear his name all the time, you know, he has a ship named after him that pursues you know, whaling vessels and he's got a legacy that, that will really last. He was quoted as saying he felt like he'd gone from someone who didn't get enough credit for what he'd done for someone who got too much credit for what he'd done and I'm really happy that he's, I think, gotten his due. You know, if there's one silver lining to the tragedy of someone dying so young, it's that I think people really saw just, you know, what an amazing guy he was. Mm -hmm.